New construction has a level playing field. That means that we're in a neutral market when it comes to negotiation or what on the balance of things, who has more balance, who has more power, sellers or buyers. We're going to go more into that. Make sure that you subscribe, share this channel. Uh, listen, don't be paying attention to what they were saying happened in September or even October for that matter. I mean, we are almost at Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, let's get on with the show. Uh, share this. Super important because as we go through these numbers each and every week, it is going to help you make the best business decision possible. So let's have some fun with this. All right, first, let's get through the normal things. Inventory. Inventory is up 197%. Okay, well, in December, it's, it's going to look really bad because right now, there's like 12,000 homes for sale. And last year at this time, we had 4,000 homes for sale. So next month, we're probably not even going to include that number, that metric, because it's going to be so far out of whack that mentally people are going to have a hard time understanding or relating to really what is its relevance, which is, well, like none. Why? Because for the last two years, we've had such low, horrific inventory that it just, it's, it just didn't matter. It doesn't matter right now because, again, the number just is too far. It's too extreme. Hopefully that makes sense. January, January's going to be the same thing. So will February, again, because our numbers were so low. However, when we get back into April, part of March, but mostly May and, and uh, on April-ish, May, that is when, again, almost month to month, two years apart, we went polar opposite markets, right? So in uh, March, uh, April, May of 2020, when we were in lockdown, they went ahead and, and uh, our inventory started just absolutely just collapsing uh, because people who were supposed to be staying home were actually out buying homes. Makes perfect sense. The interest rates were at like 2.8, 2.7, 2.9. A high interest rate was 3.1. And so when you take a look and you go back and forth, depending on which week, which day you are looking at, every single time when we uh, consider that inventory dwindling because of interest rates, we're the exact opposite now. We have interest rates that are per near 7%. Right now, 6.5, 6.2%, depending on if you use a half point buy down, half a point is half a percent. When you take a look at those numbers, and you compare them to before, our interest rates were twice as much. Well, of course, naturally people pull back because they can't afford as much and therefore our inventory grew. That's just normal economics. All right, but let's talk about what really is kind of trans transpiring here and how does it benefit you? Because understand, some people are saying, hey, George, this must be a really bad market for sellers. No, not at all. In fact, far from it, because sellers now have the ability to actually step back and look at and find a home that is the best fit for them and their needs versus the fear of being homeless or having to buy something that maybe isn't the best fit for them, all right? Uh, and when you take a look at this, they actually now have what's called a new opportunity, even in many cases, a better opportunity because most of your most of your buyers out there, and there's a number, they say 68%, don't think it's quite that high, but uh, actually I think it was 62%, uh, you know, are uh, of the buyers out there are also sellers. Okay, well, if now they have that opportunity, sure, they're not gonna get maybe the price that they were looking for before, that FOMO, fear of missing out, oh, I missed the market. When in actuality, they have a new opportunity. They have a better market to choose from. Now, you might be saying, you know, that's just sales. No, I have many clients that are saying this very thing. And in fact, many of them are actually keeping their home, renting their home, and buying a new home. Why? Because the investment at 3% or whatever they refinanced at made a great investment. Understand. There, there's a lot of folks out there and they're like, hey, 
you you say you know keeping property keeping run of properties is is a really good thing and and why is that i'm gonna i'm gonna digress here briefly robert kiyosaki i don't think could have said it really any better understand there's three ways to make money right you have earned income right that's your job okay you go out you work you get compensated for your time now i know there's some out there making a funny joke about that okay then you have portfolio income right that is where you have your stocks your bonds and you know and your investments so if you buy uh rivian at you know 15 dollars a share and you sell it at 50 dollars a share that's a capital gain that's a portfolio income or earning interest on that that's portfolio income then you have passive income passive income would be like from rental properties and other vehicles that are similar to that very few of them but that actually provide you income that's why when you take a look at you know folks that are well to do don't worry about you know the monthly income why because they have passive income they don't have a job they have assets they have assets that are performing assets that give them income well, different than a bank but it's a little bit different when they say i'm going to punish the rich i almost chuckled and said well understand you can tax what you want but understand they have assets and assets provide you a different kind of income as far as avoiding many of those tax implications that people seem to be i don't know confused about not being able to do pay attention to the show subscribe understand how that changes what you do right back on track here we go when we take a look at the number of pended which is down new construct or new on market is down and so are solds seasonally normal you go back anytime minus well, the last two years uh it is seasonally normal people typically uh do not choose to come on market as we get closer to the holidays some do some don't it's it's just when we look here we're at 788 homes that's a smaller number look we took 1007 we our our pendants are higher than what's coming on market even though our our active inventory is creeping up meaning that we are selling less well we are still closing a number of homes and if you look at us as a microeconomic area like the puget sound versus the uh, entire united states uh, we're actually still one of the top five markets across the u.s why because we have a lot of stability yeah sure there's a lot of comments out there about some of the tech companies you know uh laying off people here and there and everywhere but that's again a a bigger bigger picture it's not everything it's not right here we do have a lot of ways and areas to absorb any of the layoffs in this area in fact we help a number of clients that are out there get relocated into other positions we have done that many and multiple times if you find yourself in that situation you need to reach out because we have a massive network there are probably places that we can help you find a position there you go all right moving on month over month we're down 6.9 homes it's just it's not very many uh month over month anyway uh when we come down here appended 7.5 percent i want to say that's like 300 homes 400 homes ish that's the entire northwest mls okay and i'm kind of marching through this because i want to spend most of the time on new construction which we've had a lot of questions about okay uh financing financing has come down it's still rallied really well because the bonds did well and because we had the the uh the reports the earning report of the cost the the uh, uh, the consumer price index CPI actually came in better than expected, which uh, rallied. Although the feds are probably going to increase their lending rate has nothing to do with long-term mortgages, their lending rate by another half a point, that's uh, half a percent. Okay. Or 50 basis points. They are more than likely going to do that to help stave off the inflation. They're, they're still not getting it to quite slow down as much as they want seems old school but what do i know yeah their head jets bigger than mine all right let's move on let's get on to what the fun part about today is we're going to talk about new construction why it, now is new construction a great opportunity for you first of all in the first time in three years it's become a neutral market that is huge that means it doesn't benefit a buyer or a seller that is massive 
for folks out there that are really looking to get a better value. And when we talk about a better value, hey, listen, they're not going to want to negotiate price. That's your number one tip. There are other areas that they are willing to concede and concede in big dollar amounts. You need to understand what that is and where they are willing to give in. But price, price, that affects the entire plat. Understand that is, that is something they don't want to mess with. They will give you all kinds of goodies down here, but they do not want to adjust price. And there's a lot of different ways, whether it's a rate buy down, whether it's uh, maybe it's fencing, maybe it's getting a tech package, maybe it's getting additional appliances, maybe it's getting an upgrade on uh, countertops or millwork or flooring. There's a lot of different things that you can do to, to stack a lot of benefits to meet that price. A lot. You just need to make sure that you're working with somebody who understands that. Okay, if you go in, not as much leverage. A lot of a lot of buyers go in thinking they're going to get so you know no agent i'm going to get a great deal <laughs> no you're not i mean yes and no you might think you are and there are times and i just smile uh and we will have sold a client uh, another home and got you know twenty five thousand dollars of concessions and this person didn't okay and they paid the commission for us there you go not the client the seller all right that is the value we paid for ourselves there and they flat out agree with that all right inventory inventory is up 111 percent yeah no big deal why well because it was so horrifically low before okay when we take a look at it and because of post this there it is right there you can see this is where we were at last year that's an absorption rate and this is where we're at today why because we have so much more inventory but it didn't take much when you only had a couple of thousand homes Across the entire north, or no, this is actually King Pierce and Snohomish County. King Pierce and Snohomish County. When you only had a couple of thousand homes, like 2,000, and then you go up to, uh, what the heck was it, like 4,000 and so. Uh, hey, listen, that's what happens. But does that benefit a buyer? Absolutely it does. And so when we talk about being balanced, remember a balanced market is four to six months. That's at 3.2 months. We talk about the inverse of that, right? And we take a look at the actual absorption rate. So the higher number, this is like the dry sponge. And you might remember, this is a wet sponge, okay? So the absorption, meaning that the market is not willing to absorb as much, even though they're still putting out, you know, homes, even though less than what really is the demand, because there is a massive buyer demand still out there. We know this because we still see multiple offers. We know this because we are still seeing solds and pended happen consistently. Let's get back here. Days on market. Oh, let's go with this. Sales. Sales down year over year are down, you know, basically 38%. Not unexpected, but I'll tell you something. The we are predicting, we're hearing a lot of uh, a lot of other folks predicting rates are going to come down next year it's going to be brief it's going to come down then it go back up it is going to be mayhem and bedlam i'm just saying uh doing a refinance and getting more better better terms better quality slower pace more contingencies has value that's what i'm telling you right now so do be considering this now with the refinance later just something to noodle on all right, days on market. Uh, we're at 41 days on market now for new construction versus 29. And sales price. Now we're going to get into a couple of numbers that I think are really super important. Some areas are talking about buyers walking away, doing some you know um, things that historically we've not seen. We're not really seeing that here hardly at all. Note, during the, the crazy med, uh, mayhem last year, we're at 104% of list price. That means that I list my, my home here and I sell it up here at 104%. Now we're at 97%. So we're down just a little bit off of what a list price is. Are builders making adjustments? Sure, just like many of the sellers are. Why? 
Again, when we come back here, we talk about price reductions. There are 861 price reductions. However, understand that in many of the desirable areas, we again are still seeing multiple offers with buyers on plats. We just had one with one of our clients. So we went in, there were four other buyers. There were a total of five of us, and it still escalated over asking price. There you go. Are there buyers still out there? Yes. Is there still pent up demand? Yes. Is it a good opportunity now to have better terms, better pricing, or at least better amenities with new construction? The answer is yes, hands down, straight across the board. There's a lot of opportunity. You just have to be willing to step up to look at that mentally because half of this is a mental game. There is a financial outcome that is basically very structured and there are options for you to consider. Just keep that in mind. Average sales price is up 8.6% to a million twenty-two. That's our medium price. King Pierce, Snohomish County. Last year it was $941,000. The, the value of understanding that is we are still seeing some appreciation. We're not going to see as high of an appreciation next year. We're only going to see 4 to 6%. Still sticking with that. I still think it's a good number. Probably more 4 6% in some of uh, some very unique market areas that have a, a very high demand, limited inventory. We're going to see a little bit better return. But on average, you're going to see about a 4% appreciation. That does not mean we're going down. We're going to be very flat. And that's okay. Because 2024, 2025, I do see us on a recovery. I do see us dumping back into that double digit as interest rates start coming down. That flood of pent-up demand is going to come to the forefront. You're going to be right back where we're at. Not as much. Not like 2020 and 2021. It won't be like that. It will briefly, but it will level out. Right? You hit that, you hit that pond, and you get that initial big ripple, but then it kind of, kind of waves out as you get some resistance. All right. If you have any questions, post them. We love your questions. If you would like our new construction... It's actually it came out as of today, our new construction report. Uh, we do other counties also, it just happens King Pierce and uh, Snohomish County are the areas that we report to some of the lenders that we work with more frequently. It is free. All you need to do is let us know uh, what area you're interested in. We will email that off to you. There's no cost, no obligation. Just let us know. We'll get that off to you. In the meantime, it's an absolutely stunning day. You guys have a beautiful day. And I will see you on the next video. Take care.